if I was a lawyer and I had to go to court and I had to present a case to a jury of my peers in, in trying to convince them that the rapture of the church must occur before the wrath of the seven year tribulation period, and I could only use one Bible verse, that Bible verse would be 1 Thessalonians 1.10. So let's jump right into that. And to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, who delivers us from the wrath to come. Okay, so let's look at this. Right away, you've got Jesus coming from heaven. He is going to deliver us from the wrath to come. We are to wait for Jesus to return from heaven to deliver us from wrath to come. Okay, right away, post-tribulation believers or rapture deniers are going to look at this and they're going to go, yeah, okay, Jesus is going to come and he's going to deliver you from the wrath to come and that's hell. But there's a problem with that. Jesus' second coming does not deliver you from the wrath of hell. It was Jesus' first coming that delivered you from the wrath of hell. The blood that Jesus shed on that cross is enough blood that it covers all sins for every believer. It does not, you don't need to add anything to it. There is nothing to add. He, he was on the cross and he says it is finished. So you are not looking at a second coming adding anything to your salvation. But what you are seeing is that the wrath to come is the wrath that God pours out on the inhabitants of the earth during the seven year tribulation period. So you have to have this being the one verse that explains you are to wait for his son from heaven. He delivered him from the dead. And Jesus will deliver you from the wrath to come. That is the tribulation period. And I have to be candid. I'm not an old English scholar, so I actually did a little digging on this. It used to bother me that this, uh, we used even Jesus. Like, oh, well, yeah, even Jesus. But in old English, if we look at this, the way this is actually used in the Oxford English Dictionary, even can be used as an adverb. It is actually used in Old English times to emphasize something surprising or extreme. So, again, in 1 Thessalonians, he's using uh, excitement, surprise, extreme. Jesus, who would deliver us from this wrath to come. And we already knew that Jesus was delivering us from hellfire. He's explaining to them further, giving further teaching to the Thessalonians of how Jesus will deliver them from the day of the Lord, from any wrath that would be poured out on the earth in human bodies. And this is actually personified over in the New American Standard Version. I don't normally use this, but I saw this and want to share this with you. And to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead. That is Jesus who rescues us from the wrath to come. And again, I, I guess if I were writing the Bible, this was delivered to me and I was the Apostle Paul in modern day, writing it in my native tongue, I would probably write, and to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead. Jesus, three exclamation points, who rescues us from the wrath to come. Again, there's really no other explanation for this verse. Um, it is solid, practical teaching, easy to understand that Jesus is coming. We are to wait for him. And he's going to save us from the seven-year tribulation period and the wrath that he will be pouring out on the inhabitants of this earth. That is why the rapture is so very important, my friends. That is why it is called our blessed hope. Amen.